Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. I'm really excited about today's project. So I made the prototype and I'm immediately filming it for you. Now, normally I make a bunch of projects in one go. That happens on one day and then a few days later I come back and film them. But I've literally just made this um, and then I thought, no, I want to bring it to you straight away. So it looks kind of, you know, just ordinary and normal. It's not a card. It is a card, but it's not a card. So it's actually... It's a card that opens up like that, but inside here we have three envelopes and these hold cash. So I have put £35 in because everybody likes to see British money. It's very pretty. Our money's lovely, brightly coloured. Um, but this would make a nice gift wallet. Now this has come about, oh I've just headbutted my <laughs> just headbutted my ring light. It's kind of come about because everybody loved the little cash wallets I made a few weeks back. And these are those. They are exactly the same as I made before. I'm going to make them again, but this time I put it into um, a card. Although, uh, questionably, whether you'd make an envelope for that, I don't know. So, let me show you how to make it. And I've got everything over prepped, cut, ready on one side. And I'm using Wild Wheat... And the paper whose name has just fallen out of my head. So I'm going to guess that it is Cheerful Daisies or something like that. It did have a name and I've forgotten the name. Anyway, it's a lovely pack of paper. And I'm also using Lemon Lolly. So it's all about the new. So Wild Wheat, Lemon Lolly, new paper. Let's get going. So for the outer card, 7 by 7 inches, 17 by 17 centimetres. And simply score it at one and three quarter inches and five and a quarter which in metric is 14 and a quarter centimeters and 12 and three quarters okay the envelopes i've made two already because you need three um or you could go with just two i will show you what it looks like with two but it's exactly the same as my little cash stuffing ones that i like i say i made a few weeks ago piece of paper four by seven inches or nine and a half by 17 centimeters on the long side score it at three and six inches which is seven and a half and fifteen centimeters and on the short side half an inch and three and a half inches which is one centimeter and eight and a half okay so I'm going to pop that out of the way I'm going to build this one uh, because it's here and I do have birthdays coming up so it's my eldest son he turns 20 <laughs> turns 20 on the 30th of the month goodness me and he's kind of at an age now where cash is king cash is the best thing for him so I'm just going to snip some bits away so where I've got this narrow end here we're going to get rid of the skinny bit there and there and just mitre down on the other one so yeah and my nephew um so we're, we're full flight into birthday territory now um I have one of my nephews turns 13 the day after Jack's birthday and he also is of an age where you know money is better for him well not better for him because he loves a gift but you know the older they get the more expensive the things are that they want and so you know with Jack he can use that money on his car or with my nephew Ben he could buy a game or something okay so if I turn it over so you can no that's too busy I'm trying to show you the cut out bit so we've got a bit cut out there and there okay so fold it over get some tape or glue of choice fold that fold that oh for goodness sake I completely forgot to cut a little wedge in <laughs> cut little cutouts on that yeah that's not happening at all that's not going in there so we're going to pretend that there is a little little cut out there okay they're done and ready and i'm burnishing this up now i have got lots of bits of paper i have got one for the inside but i'm not going to glue it to the inside i've got those for there and there should you wish to write on it and those for the outside. Now these ones are one and a half inches wide by six and three quarters, which is four centimeters by 16 and a half. And that's all of those, they're all the same. This one is three and a quarter inches wide by six and three quarter tall. So when this is closed, 
it's three and a half by seven, which is, yeah, I'm going to say eight and a half by 17 centimeters. Okay, so what I want to do, I'm going to do this bit first, I think. I'm going to get my little panels and this bottom one, I'm going to glue just the bottom part and attach it to the bottom and just make sure that you've got an equal border all the way around, okay? And I've only glued it at the bottom. This top one, that I forgot to cut the bit out, again, but we're only gonna put glue at the top. And come and do exactly the same. Just make sure you've got an equal border all the way around. So like I say, you could, if you just, you know, if you wanted to give a little less cash, two, this one, you can see here I've still got my cold. It's not going away. Definitely not COVID. Do you know what? I've gone through a packet of tests. Still not COVID. This one, because we've already positioned it, you can line it up. And because I've used liquid glue, I've got wibble room, which is such a technical term, and I can make sure that my three panels have got a, an approximately equal distance. Now, of course, you could stamp and put a little something there if you wanted to. I'm not. Okay, get my lemon lolly. What a lovely, lovely colour. Um, I didn't use... Uh, what was the colour? So saffron. I didn't use that a huge amount, but I absolutely love this colour. Very, very pretty. That's going on the inside. And like I say, that's room for writing a message, doing some extra stamping, should you wish. Hello, Fauna. And, oh no, I wanted liquid glue on this one for that wonderful wibble room. That's gonna go in the middle. Okay. I'm gonna turn it face down get my paper. Oopsie. My runaway paper. And pop that on the front. Are those daisies the wrong way up? Yes, apparently so. Okay. And then cash inside, so 20 pounds. And, oh, make it go in. There we go, 20 pounds, 10 and five. And they're all in there. And like I say, you can see them a little bit better with this one, so I forgot to cut out, but um, I used, no, I didn't use the two and three eighths. I used the two inch punch, two inch circle punch, which is back in, it's in the online exclusive. Okay, a little bit of stamping going on. So, oh, that's not a piece, that's not a piece of Whisper White. That's the die set because I'm, it's literally all scattered on my desk. So we've got the Cheerful Daisy stamp set with the matching dies, which are here. Some of them are here. Um, didn't think this one through as to what colour to stamp, but anyway. Oh, I've got all sorts of stuff going on. So I think I'm going to do crushed curry, um, which is the darker yellow here. And I have, look, I haven't even got these cut up. And then maybe lemon lolly for the inside, or maybe, whoopsie, black for the inside. But let's go crushed curry. Again, not a colour I use very often. Apparently I need to re-ink my. <laughs> Let's not worry about that now. Let's just do lemon lolly because it's here and it's pretty. Okay, so one of those, one of those, and then I'm going to take, I've got my phrase, wishing you a something birthday. Can't read what that says. And I've got the two centres and some stays on. And roughly centre because I can't actually see. 
roughly centre. Okay, scooch those out of the way. Pack that off, get my little mini cup and emboss. And did you know the boho blue one? It's available. Okay, so plate number one, plate number two, my cardstock, and then my dies. And let's spend 20 minutes trying to work out which way around they go. Ooh, there we go. And I've got some post it notes around. One there. pretty accurate and then this is the border outline one which goes around phrases and words and another post-it on there and then a clear plate on top these post-it notes from the sadly now in administration or closed paper chase and while they are in I believe Tesco's or Sainsbury's not the same it's just not the same okay right I've got some wild wheat um, ribbon I used the oh I didn't tell you that was moody mauve um, so I've got wild wheat this is a nice colour. I know that there have been comments about the particular shade of yellowy brown. I don't find that offensive. It, doesn't, it didn't remind me of anything until somebody on my team said, oh yeah, I don't like that colour. But I quite like it. So tie it off. In a bow. And that bow is not super duper mega tight because you know you don't want somebody trashing all your hard work to get up cash okay and then some dimensionals on the back of there that are here i could get them off oh i need to get this one the right way around so I want to put them on that half because I'm going to put my flower here and then that's sitting on it but not so that you can't open the card still and then this one just up here I think is very pretty and what do you think? So this one I haven't resealed, so you can see inside with all of the cutouts because, you know, I didn't forget on those ones. I really like it. I think that's a really, really nice way to gift some cash to somebody. And obviously, yes, you could put it into an envelope for them, but actually it's a gift. Here's the gift. Unwrap it. Find cash. I like it. Anyway, I hope you do too. Thank you ever so much for joining me. Speak to you very soon. Bye.